News at 6. Thanks for watching us this Wednesday evening. Many Rochester parents have sent their kids to different colleges around the region this fall. And despite pandemic concerns, many universities are holding in-person classes on campus. Our Alex Tejada spoke to one of those colleges about how it's managing so far. Alex. Tom, Caitlin, thousands of students from all over the country returned to Minnesota State University in Mankato this month. With so many people in a small college town, it means the university has its work cut out to balance education with public safety. I don't feel the most comfortable going out to eat at the dining center every day. I don't feel the most comfortable going into every class. But safety measures have been taken at Minnesota State Mankato. The hand sanitizing stations are everywhere, and I really appreciate those. I do feel safe, but of course, you know, a little more student participation is always welcome. Even free testing available to students. And I did test. I tested negative, and that was really uh, helpful for my own anxieties. The campus offers in-person, virtual, and hybrid class options and have worked to improve the distance learning experience. We listen to our students, and I think that's uh, you know a reason why our enrollment is actually up. While many students are staying in their dorms, the campus COVID status is at the second level, which means transmission levels are starting to tax campus resources. As far as I know, we're still at yellow, and I think it'd be smart to shut us down if we get to that point just to kind of prevent as much cases as possible. I am homesick a touch, so to, to go back home and see my family wouldn't, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I guess. Yet the campus is hoping to keep students on campus in some capacity, even if most classes remain online. It's definitely hard. I kind of feel like I'm in class, but also zoning out at the same time. Not, it's not the same experience as being in person, but I know the professors are doing what they can to bring that experience to us. It's not a great, uh, perfect experience. But it's the best experience we can provide them and our students, I think, are appreciative of that. Cecil says he sympathizes with student athletes who saw their fall seasons canceled due to the Northern Sun Conference moving all sports to the spring. However, he is still hopeful that the hockey season will be able to be held as normal. Reporting live in the studio, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Thanks, Alex.